Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. The bottom line is this, guns cost too much. Today's market is outrageous. The new and used market, one thing holds true and that is guns cost too much. How did we get to this point? Well, if you look at prior to all of this nonsense, like over a year ago, budget guns were flying off the shelves. That is nothing new. You look at Sky, Taurus, Diamondback, some of the Turkish made guns, and yes, High Point too. They were flying off the shelves. People love to pick up a gun for $200 or so and call that their home defense or carry gun. Whatever the case, I'm a fan of budget guns myself, but if you look at today's market, even the budget guns are outrageously priced. Something that used to be $225 is like $400. And then you look at the mid-range market, you're looking at you know Glocks, Walthers, MPs. those have all skyrocketed as well. How did we get to this point? Well, it's always a supply and demand thing. That's what drives the market. A gun is only worth what somebody is willing to pay for it. And now you have all these new shooters entering the gun world and they don't have a baseline as to what's normal. Like I have people contacting me all the time say, what are you selling? You know, I, I don't care. I need to get a gun. That is still happening, although I think it may be slowing down a little bit because there is very little supply out there. So they don't have a baseline. They are actually driving up the costs of firearms because if a gun store can get that much for it, that will be their new baseline and they will raise the price. Plus, they're not getting the inventory that they're used to. So they are raising the cost to offset some of their overhead. And this is how we got to this point. You look at handguns. Shotguns. Shotguns are outrageous. Try to get a, a, a Mossberg Maverick these days. It's near impossible. That gun used to be two and a quarter. Now you're looking at over 300, closer to 350, 400 dollars. It's crazy what's going on. All you have to do is look at the manufacturers as well. I truly believe they are cranking out their current supply of firearms. Their lines. They are. They're. They're doing their best to get them out and to the distributors. But they themselves have raised their MSRPs across the board. Like this is stuff I study all the time. I, I go back and look at some of my old videos and what the MSRP was two, three, four years ago and what it is now. That has substantially increased. And then the distributors increase it. The gun stores increase it. You've got new shooters out there that are paying for it and the rest of us are, are sitting back saying what happened to the price of guns well that basically explains it you know you look at many of the popular models they're hard to find and when you do find them they're three four hundred dollars more than what we're used to so things have gotten outrageous things have uh could they they're not slowing down but what is slowing down is inventory and that is what is also driving up the cost. We see a lot of new releases now. You have to remember that many of these companies were holding on to models that were not ready for release, but they were going to launch them at SHOT Show. And of course we didn't have SHOT Show, so they're trickling out one at a time. It's like almost every manufacturer is coming out with their, their new release. And reviewers are getting them, but when you go online to see them, if you call your local gun store, they're not getting them. They are getting eaten up. The little supply they have, they're getting bought up very quickly. And that too drives up the price. You know, we get all excited about a new release and we then look at the price and we say, wow, that is way too expensive. I'm going to hold off on that and, and wait a little bit. There was once a time where the MSRP was just a suggested retail price you'd see an msrp of say 465 we'd expect to get that gun maybe around 400 the upper 300s now an msrp is a bargain if you can get the uh, firearm at the msrp that is a great price and people are jumping all over those so what do you see you see prices raised above the msrp and people are still buying them I've had many people tell me that, you know what, I'm in a, a hold pattern. I'm not doing anything. You look at 
uh, ammo, you look at guns, it's outrageous. I think it will slow down, and I do think that supplies will increase over time, possibly over the summer, because the summer is, is typically a slow time for guns, but the ammo thing is still no end in sight situation. So we have to see how this whole thing's going to shake out. I would I would hold still right now. If you see a bargain, go for it. But I don't think you're going to see a bargain. You might. Every now and again, somebody says, hey, I, I picked this up. But the used market, oh my gosh, those are crazy priced. Guns cost too much. Don't get into the situation we had in 2012 where people were way overpaying. And then we saw that very same product drop in cost six months later because supply caught up with the demand and they they felt like they got totally ripped off. I think we're going to have that same effect right now and it may be even worse. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.